Now we will create a method inside our class. So here we have defined our class and we have named it example. Then we have placed a method inside our class called info. And inside the parentheses we have placed two arguments, two parameters. First, the mandatory cell parameter. Second, the name parameter. Then we will utilize the print function to print im string in our console as well as the name parameter. Then outside our class, we will instantiate our class. So we will create an object called a. So we have a equals to example, empty parentheses. Then we will call our object and specifically access the info method by giving it a string as an argument, string of IO. So we will have IM IO displayed on our screen. Now a method is a function embedded inside our class. So here we have a function, however, it's being called a method as it is placed inside a class. A method is obliged to have at least one parameter, specifically the self parameter. The reason why the self parameter in initializes a method as, as being part of the object. So when we have the self parameter placed, when the method is created, it means this specific method is part of the object. Then, unlike the constructor, a method can return a value while a constructor cannot as it is there just to return an object.